do 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 strolling along in the city. Oh my god, I got a nine tails! Oh my god, how are you? Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 23. Yeah, part 23 of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Alright, so now is the point where the game becomes non linear, so you can do whatever you want. You can try to go both ways in order to get to the next town, which is Fuchsia City. You can stop Team Rocket from taking over the Sylph Co. Or you can just basically do whatever. It's cool. But when all is said and done, you definitely do have to get all the gym badges you want. So I'm just going to do all my usual things. And yeah. We got the TM-14 by going over to this house right here, which contains Fly. Yes, a Kanto remake that has Fly as a TM. Yeah, you're really glad, like, you're honestly really, really glad that TMs are sort of becoming the big mainstay for Pokemon moves from this point onward. Because, you know, let me tell you, the staff... We're definitely getting, we're definitely getting tired of the whole HM scene. They definitely were. So, in Gen 7, and I'm guessing going forward, is, you know, the fact that, you know, things replacing HMs are indeed a thing. Basically meaning that, uh, things are now things. Yeah, things are now things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, things are indeed things. No. Um, things replacing HMs now exist. Like in Sun and Moon, when, like in Sun and Moon, uh, ride Pokemon are basically there to be your HMs. Like Tauros being for strength, Tauros being your bicycle, Charizard for flying, um, Machamp for strength, and so on and so forth. So that's cool. So that's very cool. And in Pokemon Let's Go, it's sort of becoming the same thing for secret techniques. We have secret techniques for Cut, Fly, Surf, Strength, and Flash. So that's one thing I'm actually kind of thankful for. And one thing that I would definitely never ever call Game Freak lazy for is the fact that, you know, HM being phased out is a good thing. Because thank God, we don't need HM slaves anymore. We don't need anything resembling... We don't need, you know, undeletable HMs being a thing anymore. Hideo Kojima! Hey! Look at this dude, Hideo Kojima. Why was he a biker? Why was he a biker? Why was he a punk dude? And not a biker, which was definitely not a class in the original games. Oh my god. Like, dang, dude. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's developing Death Stranding right now, and, you know, you gotta have your punk... Gotta have your punk guy for inspiration. Okay, so, you know, you got your punk guys here. You know, you got all your... Yeah, in this particular area that we're going to go through all of today, um, we are going to be seeing a whole bunch of punk guys. We're going to see a whole bunch of nine tails being paralyzed. We're going to see all the biker, all the punk dudes, all the fat guys, and all the bikers. Wait a minute, bicycles don't exist. Actually, yeah, bicycles don't even exist. How am I getting the freezing status a whole lot more than I should? I don't know. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Also, shout out to the original noise for Aurora Beam. Once again, I would never call a game be lazy because they improve on a thing that should have been phased out with ever since Gen 3. In the fact that HMs don't even exist anymore, which is perfectly which is perfectly okay. Yeah, perfectly okay. Alright, get out of here, yeah. 
And now from now on, I'm going to actually skip the rest of these guys because I don't need, you don't need to see any of that. You definitely don't need to see any of this, so moving on. Nice Pokemon, hit him over. <laughs> well, except this guy because we just seen him for the first time. Roughneck Koji. So, of course, with Roughnecks, you get all the scary Pokemon that they often use, like Raticates, Poison types, or whatever. It's sad to say that I might have to skip you due to time, but I might possibly have to skip you due to time. So after I make this Raticate faint, I'm going to skip you due to time. Because, you know, we got a lot of ground to cover with this route, particularly because it's a huge, huge route. And, uh, yep, gonna switch over to Rai Rai now. So, you know what that means? I get to skip you, even though you're the first trainer class of the Roughneck that we've seen in this game. So, bye-bye, Raticate. I won't miss you. And now the trainer is skipped. when Rai Rai gets to level 36. Knockout! Ah! <laughs> Knockout. Blarg. Yes, Blarg. All right. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, and then I'm going to see you at the other side of the entrance. Oh, hello! New Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Hello! It's a Dodua! Hello, Dodua. I still have an Ultra Ball on. Why do I have an Ultra Ball on me? Also, I forgot. <laughs> I know I want to move on, but I keep forgetting that we got a new badge, so we got to show off the new items that you can get at the Pokemart. Okay, so I'm going to catch the Dodua, and then I'm going to go back to the Pokemart, see what new items we can get, and then we're going to go ahead to the other side of the entrance to the thing. Its short wings make flying difficult. Instead, this Pokemon runs at high speed on developed legs. At the Pokemart, now that you have the Rainbow Badge, you can now buy Ultra Balls! And there are only 500 Poke Dollars in Let's Go. Because, you know, they're important. So I'm gonna buy some Great Balls. I don't really need to buy Poke Balls anymore because I have so many. And 24 of those. I can buy 16 of them. And now I won't feel bad about using up space at all. You can also buy Hyper Potion, which has been buffed in price, but nerfed in the amount of P HP that's restored to a Pokemon. Why? And you can also buy Super Lures, which work better than a Lure. And I think you know where this is going. I'm going to buy all of the lures. <laughs> because, you know, I want rare Pokemon to come to me and uh, do things. And by do things, I mean me running to them and then, you know, me catching them. You know, it's just a part of life. It's just a part of life. All right, Route 16. We can finally move on. We can finally move on to making progress, hopefully. So, up these stairs, you'll be able to find a couple of things here. I'm meeting with a friend so we can see some of the Pokemon on Pokemon Road. And you. I finally asked her out! I'm going on a date on Pokemon Road! I'm meeting with a friend to go see some Pokemon on Pokemon Road. Oh, buddy, I am so, so sorry. <laughs> All right, so here's one of Professor Oak's assistants. So if you've gotten at least 40 different species of Pokemon recorded onto your Pokedex, then you'll be able to get this special thing. And thankfully, I caught 61 different species of Pokemon, so there you go. 30 Ultra Balls. So, yeah, I don't have to feel bad about, you know, using up Ultra Balls, so I can just basically use Ultra Balls since that's basically the best one minus the best one there's certain that Pokemon will fly while carrying the trainer on their back because Pokemon Road is so wide and safe it's possible to fly particularly freely here too ooh all right so Pokemon Road is a downhill path leading to the sea you should try to have a nice hike along with your Pokemon 
And yes, they mean what you say, because this is no longer Bicycle Road. This is Pokemon Road, where you get to hike freely with your Pokemon, as well as being able to fly high in the sky with your Pokemon. So let's bring out Pidgeot here. Let's bring out Burbjop and see what we got. Nothing, because I think Charizard can be the one who has to carry me. <laughs> yeah, see? You can just simply avoid all of this and just go on your merry little way. So, yeah, Pokemon Road. There's no bicycles in this game. But, since... Yeah, blah, 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 what am I trying to say? There are no bicycles in this game, so Cycling Road here no longer exists, sadly. But, that's okay, because now you can freely, freely explore what this place should have been. Not a place for bicycles. Alright, and of course, we've got a whole bunch of trainers here. So, why don't we just get the ball rolling? On this very, very long video that I'm sure is going to be a very long video for me, but highly shorter for you. Alright, so first off, we have... This dude with the Psyduck. And it's level 35. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, can I get a big yikes on uh, some of the difficulty here? This is probably meant to be entered second because the Pokemon are kind of sort of high leveled here. Like some of those guys that we fought before, they have Pokemon up to like the mid 30s. So that's a yikes, first of all. And second of all, like, some of these Pokemon can get particularly strong. Yeah, like, particularly, particularly strong. So, you'll see. You'll definitely see. And, of course, you're going to use your Fury Swipes. Okay. All right. And I just keep on spamming Dazzling Gleam until I win. So good. The coat is so shiny. Yes, it is. Do you like it? You like the coat? Shiny and shit. Alright, so here we go. We're going to get a super potion right here. And I might as well swap out my uh, Ninetales with uh, Eevee. Might as well. Aw, you got a Vaporeon. Do you want to battle my Pokemon? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, little boy. I mean, girl. Dahlia. What you got for me, Dahlia? You got your Vaporeon? Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, these Vaporeon trainers are kinda nasty. Level 37. Way higher than... Than Giovanni's Pokemon. Way higher than Erica's Pokemon. So, sort of a big yikes moment. Sort of a, sort of a big X moment for you. And also for me. And I'm afraid that Double Edge might actually kill my Eevee, but hey, whatever. <laughs> I mean, obviously I care about my son, but, you know, it's a video game. <laughs> that makes me sound bad. I'm sorry if that makes me sound bad. Ah. 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 Okay. Okay. So next up, we have the Jolteon Trainer. I'm basically going to show all of these because, you know, why not? Because, you know, these guys... Oh, you're a little cutie. So, dar so like a darling Pokemon. Yeah, cool. I almost couldn't read for a second, but hey, whatever. Beauty Alexis. All right. So you got a Jolteon, which is the best one. The best evolution, obviously. And I got the best counter for that, which is, you know, Sleep Powder. As long as you don't paralyze me, and you probably will. No, you won't. And, of course, my sleep powder will miss. So, can I get a sleep powder on this? Good, I can get a sleep powder on this. Okay. Now that my opportunity has arisen, uh, let me see. Yeah, poison jab will be the obvious would be the obvious move for you to use, because I haven't used it yet. 
Yeah! Almost took it down in one hit, Jesus Christ. And of course you wake up to unleash more pin missiles. I remember when I actually used to uh, think of pin missile as a really, really powerful move because it did because it did such a pretty cool animation back in the day. And, uh, you know, I probably shouldn't say, you know, animation because, you know, that's a cursed word amongst the, uh, amongst the community at this point. But, you know, I'll, I'll just go into that story because I, because I think, because I think it needs to be said that this next trainer is obviously going to be using a, uh, uh, you know, a, uh, Flareon, which has gotten a lot better in the days of, since the days of Generation 6. Plus, I really want to just get this off my chest. <laughs> okay. So, allow me to get real here for a second and actually talk about something called animations. So, you see all these animations that you see, like the Pokemon's idle poses, the attack animations, all that good stuff and junk. What if I were to say to you... That much like, that much like voice clips with, uh, why did I select Denver? Much like with voice clips of, of Mario characters, what if I were to tell you that these have been used since Pokemon X and Y? Except in Pokemon, Le in the HD Pokemon games, they bas they've basically merely been upscaled and or being made from the ground up, depending on who you ask. Well, that's just to basically make the yearly quota of Pokemon, as it were. Yeah, I feel like that's kind of a good move, considering the fact that, uh... You know... These things can take a lot of time to make, you know? Pokemon has to be under a sort of a strict schedule. Because, essentially, it's a business. And the sad truth of it is that, you know, Pokemon is... A business at the end of the day each new installment of the Pokemon series has to come out sort of on a yearly basis well try the yearly basis as it were because you know as of right now I my guess the pattern is please would you have a battle with my babies sure I will um considering the fact that Pokemon is indeed a business it's very understandable why people would be mad. You know, they're mad at Game Freak for reusing animations, and you know what? You know what all stirred? You know what all that stirred this up? A level forty, <laughs> uh, a level forty War Turtle help. <laughs> yeah, a level a level forty War Turtle cost it up. No. Want well, to know what stirred up all this controversy to begin with? The demo of Sword and Shield that caused Pokemon fans to rethink all because the director said the magic words. Only Pokemon found in the Galar Pokedex can be transferred to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Now, before you all get mad at me at the comments, let me let me just dial back. Let me just dial back for a second. We don't know anything about Pokemon Sword and Shield at this point. Like, either this video is going to be really dated with the fact that we just... That we learned some new information about Pokemon Sword and Shield just now. Or sometime when this... Sometime around this video getting posted. Or we still haven't learned any big details about the game. Aside from the fact that they basically made... You know, their own... That, that Pokemon Sword and Shield has their own version of Mega Evolutions, which is the dynam the whole Dynamax thing. And aside from that, the Galar Pokedex on Cerebi has been, has been continuously updated with Pokemon found in the Galar Dex, which is basically going to be the, the amount of Pokemon that are going to be obtainable in Pokemon Sword and Shield. At this point in time, when I'm recording this video on August 1st, there are well above 150 Pokemon to be found in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And basically to be more along the way. 
And if this game really is as big as this game is going to make it out to be, then it's going to be... Then my guess is bigger than Pokemon X and Y's National Dex. I mean Regional Pokedex, excuse me. Regional Pokedex, because National Dex is a curse word. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, so... We don't... Basic and to the point, we don't know... Anything! About Pokemon Sword and Shield. And... Y'all... Are complaining about it using... This... Cursed... Freaking... Image, which yes, I agree, the tree looks bad. But does that mean the whole game looks bad? No! No. No. Use some other pictures for a change, huh? Or you can just go ahead and keep using that meme image of Link of N64 Link on that thing because it hurts me, but it's hilarious at the same time. Oh god, that image. It's so bad, but it's so good at the same time. Uh, but the point is, people are already judging Pokemon Sword and Shield as a whole. When we don't even know, even if they lost, my babies are still cute. Even though, even though we don't know anything about the story. We don't know anything about how huge the game is going to be. I found Lukajin's favorite Pokemon. I'm going to catch it. And at this point, I might as well just, uh, just disregard, like, any trainer unless they're required. Which I'm going to battle them off screen to begin with anyway. But yeah, I ain't saying, I am not saying anything about my opinions about Pokemon Sword and Shield until either I play the demo at the Pokemon World Championships, plug, I'm going to be at Pokemon World Championships in DC, or when the game comes out on November 15th, which, no, it's not going to be delayed because Pokemon, whether you like it or not, is a business and it's never gonna be delayed ever we're gonna get Pokemon up the asshole and it's gonna sell no matter how much y'all are complaining about it capable of jumping incredibly high its hooves and sturdy legs absorb the impact of a hard landing you're gonna buy the game no matter what <laughs> y'all are crazy y'all are crazy if you think you're gonna boycott this game when clearly you're gonna buy it so shut your mouth and enjoy the game! <laughs> God, I've been wanting to say that for the longest time! And now I finally get to get that off my chest, thank Jesus Christ! Ah! Uh, look, man. It's okay. It's honestly okay. You can be not excited about you know, the next Pokemon game. You know, you have the right to be upset. It's fine. It's okay. You're allowed to voice your opinion. Unless you're being an asshole. In which case, you're not allowed to do it. Because you're being an asshole. Either way, I'm gonna skip this trainer. And hopefully continue on my rant about this because I really just want to get this out of the way. Wow, I didn't even get to read. I didn't even get to read his, uh, his, you know, beginning text. Jesus. Ah, yeah, that's exactly how I feel right now. <laughs> and you know what? You know what? It's cool to hate. <laughs> God, I just really want to, I just really want to, RAPID DASH! You know, I, I just really want to do this, man, right? like, Jesus Christ, because I've been meaning to say this for, like, the longest time, because, you know, I could do it. <laughs> it's like, I could do this. All right, so, yeah, you know what, it's cool to hate the, to hate the, hate on the new mechanic, because, you know, it's fine. It's okay. Again, you're allowed to have your opinion, but just don't be a dick. It's all good. It's all good. Feel free to constructively criticize Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's okay. Like, I've grown to accept the fact that people are mad about this. But I think the bigger picture here is that, you know... 
I'm so excited. I'm still kind of excited. Like, I'm excited, but I don't know what the game is going to be like. Like, I love the fact that Pokemon Sword and Shield is going to have just loves to run. It If it sees something faster than itself, it will give chase at top speed. Um, like, I'm just excited about the fact that Pokemon is finally going to go open world for a change. Like, that's something that that fans have been wanting Pokemon Sword and Sh Pokemon on the Nintendo Switch to do. And what do they do? They do just that. You know, they give you open world elements, like the wild areas, and that's really cool. Like, I, I, I just really want to explore the wild areas, because, you know, those are... Like, open world games are probably my niche at this point. They're probably, like, my, my muse, my outer thing. I don't know. But I think my main point is that... That this is going to be a very exciting experience, you know? At the just the just the whole concept of that is just oh, and also the fact that let's go, that mechanics from let's go are being carried over to sword and shield is also pretty good because, you know, random encounters and not random encounters are also a thing as well. Like I'm really I'm I'm really I'm really good I'm really proud of that, I'm really proud of Pokemon for taking those baby steps. To becoming an actual RPG for ch for adults, even though it's technically an RPG for kids. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's just yeah. And you know what the biggest takeaway for me for that is? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have I'm just gonna take what I can get. Like, like. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go outright say it. Like, I'll be thankful for what I have. Instead of just berating, you know, people for what, berating the game for what it should have been. So whatever the game turns out to be, I'll just take it in full stride. And my absolute plan is to just play it nonstop to find anything remotely exciting about it. <laughs> like, seriously, that's what I'm gonna do. Like, for real. I'm gonna I'm gonna play Sword and Shield from day one. I'm gonna get it day one, or at least Pokemon Sword. I'm gonna play it day one. I'm gonna keep playing it, and I'm gonna play it and play it and get every inch of the game covered. Then my Let's Play in 2020 will be basically sure to be the best one. Also, uh, I forgot to fight you for some reason. Because that's one of the last two things that we're going to do here. I'm going to fight those trainers off screen. And oh boy. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, we're going to fight this thing. So I might as well continue. Uh, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna play Sword and Shield. And so that means my Let's Play of this will indeed cover everything that I possibly can. So yeah, you're going to be getting a good, you're going to be getting a good Let's Play out of it next year. So, you know, be ready for that. Just be ready. And, uh, yeah. That's kind of... That's kind of my big old tangent about, you know, Pokemon Sword and Shield out of the way. Like, I just kind of wanted to get out there and say it. Like, whatever things that the Pokemon community might do, it doesn't change the fact that I'm just, you know, just excited about this new generation of Pokemon. Like, super, super excited. Like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm going to keep an open mind. That's the important thing. Keep an open mind. You could like it. You could dislike it. Who knows? Nobody does. Nobody. So, keep, just, keep doing you, Pokemon community, even though you're kind of trash. Keep on doing you. You know? Just, let's remember to just keep an open mind until the game comes out where we can actually judge for ourselves. Nine tails to level thirty-seven.
And Sand Slash. Slinch. I like to say Slinch. <laughs> Even though nowadays in the Pokemon anime, it's more like Slash! Like, why does it have a manly voice? <laughs> why does Sandshrew and Sand Slash have a manly voice now? Like, it should have been... Like, that's one thing I'll say about, you know, the Pokemon anime is that sometimes they change Pokemon voices to be, like, less iconic. So now it's like... It's not like... It's not like Sing Slash anymore. Sing anymore. It's more like it's more like Sand True or Sand Slash. I don't even know. Like I do, but I just don't know. I just don't know why. But I think I'm just gonna let Burp Job faint anyway, <laughs> because you know it's not it's not going anywhere. But apparently, a manager expelled the poison, so that's good. I guess. Alright, verb job goes down, but eh, whatever. It did, it served its purpose of, you know, whittling down Sand Slash enough so that the weed can just take it out in one shot. Or two. So yeah, Pokemon Road is just basically one gigantic root filled with all sorts of trainers, and I will fight the rest of those trainers off screen. You know, in between, you know, sessions. Um, and I will also do something else too, Morty. Which, given that burp, would probably be a not, would be a big statement. All right. So for that, you get the TM known as Drill Run, a very good ground type move, and it has a high chance of getting a critical. So that's really, really good. Anywho. I'm going to try to find a certain Pokemon. And I know I have lures attached. Oh, hi. Hello, Dodrio. Hi. How are you today? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to catch you. And you'll be my friend. Because I love you. Yeah. <laughs> All in one go, baby. All in one go. And I get plenty of experience for that. Also, I forgot to revive Burp Job. Help. <laughs> one of the Doduo's two heads splits up to become a unique species. It runs close to 40 miles per hour in prairies. I mean, it's not as impressive as Rapidash, but hey, whatever. Rapidash is cooler anyway. <laughs> Yeah, honest to God, Rapidash is kind of a cooler Pokemon, if you ask me. I mean, it's a horse on fire. How could you go wrong with that? There it is right now. Hi, Chansey. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, hello, hello. I found it. I found it. I found it. I found it. I'm going to revive my... I'm going to revive uh, Pidgeot. I'm going to revive it now because it needs the experience, too. Also, I really need to... Find my Pokemon right there. Hello, Eevee! Bye. So finally, Bye. for Pokemon Let's Go Eevee players, you can finally, finally catch other Eevees. So, yeah. You had to wait a little bit to to find the said, said other Eevees. But, you know, hey, it's right here, so you might as well take advantage. Also, they're really high level for this point in the game. Like, like this one is level 39, so you could potentially make a good, like, team of evolutions out of this. So that's pretty cool. There we go. It's all caught and well done. Obviously, because I have an EV, the Pokedex won't be updated, but it's whatever. It's all good. Either way, finally we're done here. I'm going to spend a little bit of time in Pokemon Road trying to catch any given Pokemon that I could possibly want. And then we're going to move on to bigger and better things. So, I will indeed see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.